I'm home caught, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around? What was your thought coming from New York the first time you heard E40 in the clip? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Cause it, I know was, that shit was like it was it was it way was super, different. It was super different yeah. to me. You know what I mean? And yeah. it was his style took a, a minute to adjust to, but once you got to hear what he was saying and mm -hmm. what you know where he was coming from with mm -hmm. it, like yo, this shit is genius. The bass yeah. link's different. You yeah, know, real he shit. Created his own words, his own language. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The whole vibe Mac is different. Dre, all yeah, that. the whole yeah. vibe. That's that mm -hmm. was mature of you, cause you know a lot mm -hmm. of times East Coast, especially cause that's the mecca of hip hop, they tend to kind of. You know, look down. On, nah, very on snobbish, yes. and we were very snobbish. Yeah. And Pac mm -hmm. recognized that in us, mm -hmm. and that's why he kind of force fed us. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Bay Area hip hop, and 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 because I was exposed, of course, to NWA, Easy E, MCA, DOC, mm -hmm. and all of them, mm -hmm. but not really real Bay Area rap. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I wasn't a Too Short fan mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I learned to love Too Short right. as I got older. Right. But at the time, hell yeah, we was East Coast kids and very snobbish with our taste yeah. of hip hop. We was like, yo, what is, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. East Coast motherfuckers be hard to please. Not so much now, but yeah. back in the nineties. Oh, very shit. much so. Like, we gotta be fair though, because I grew I grew up in Sacramento and it was mm -hmm. the flip for us. I hated at the time, all due respect, I hated the sound of the East Coast. Like I couldn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't and I'm I'm a little younger too. Right. Like I mm -hmm. just turned 40. So I kind of grew up on y'all and yeah. Pac and you know yeah. others. But like at the time, like Wu Tang, like never got into Me it. Me neither. At I never time, got into it either. It would, it would come on, crazy. but yeah. I was my ear, I feel like was E40. Right, like because we For were sure. listening to C. I'm from Sac, so we were Brother yeah. Lynch, Hung, yeah. right. X Rated, right on, right on. Yeah. X Rated, uh, Sebo, yeah, uh, people from my neighborhood, Hollow mm -hmm. Tip, yeah, and then and then the Bay, Forty Spice, and and then you would hear Wu Tang, all the Sun and Kid and the yeah. Sword and Slash. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Yeah, you could you could relate. You could nah, relate. I relate at all. Nah, hundred <laughs> percent. Some of Wu Tang right. shit sound like you know. <laughs> And the early shit, Pots like somebody banging shit. on a Pot, fucking yeah. that's pipe. In that's the, in what the I basement. was about to say, bro. <laughs> As you grow up, though, I feel like yeah. you, you you get an appreciation of like, oh, cool. I see. I'm older now, but yeah. at the time, I was like, I'm, yeah. I, all I'm listening to is early Mac yeah. Dre, early. You know, yeah, rest came, in peace to Gaddafi. He was mm -hmm. he was the one. He was the one that was the toughest to crack because like. Kadai, <laughs> like he would, he would, his mouth was flagrant. Yeah. So you know what I mean. He and he didn't mind like agitating Pac. You know yeah. what I mean? They were like brothers, so, oh, so he would talk Pac could be playing some E forty or something. He'd be like, "Man, take this country shit off. I don't know what the fuck is this nigga saying?" Like you know what I mean? Like what the like yeah. he, he just couldn't get E forty, but he ended up loving yeah, forty. Real shit. You know what I mean? We all ended up loving forty. You know, yeah. I took to it a little bit earlier because I grew up in the Midwest and I mm -hmm. was exposed mm -hmm. to a lot of different hip hop more than they was growing up on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. But boy, that shit was set Pac on fire. <laughs> Shout out 40. 40 just shared. Like, I don't yeah. know shit. This the real hip hop right here. Yeah. yeah. Not that bullshit. <laughs> 40 just shared the story for the outlaw show. He rocking with it, man. He watching. Yeah, yeah. You know what time it is. I done told 40 the story. Still. <laughs> 40 know the story. You know yeah. what I mean? That story of how Pac took us around the bay and, mm -hmm. you know, spoon fed us this Bay Area hip hop mm -hmm. is legendary up there because mm -hmm. not only would he take us around to these cats, he would make us rap too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He would make us rap for him and, and he put us in the trenches early, very early on to, mm -hmm. you know, see if we could hold our own. Mm -hmm. Up in Oakland, coming with East Coast styles, and you know what I mean. He was like, grooming y'all. He was getting y'all ready. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. No, he that's... was doing what doesn't happen a lot. In yeah, hip -hop right. Yeah, now. he was pretty much A and R in y'all for sure. I'm home caught, standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now, you gotta pay.